Hey, what up everybody? It's your boy I Am Legend here again. Um, so I just wanted to try to do, hopefully I can keep this short and sweet, but um, it's not really in my nature. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I just wanted to do an update regarding the first video I did um, uh, with where you having an issue where you couldn't catch fire with your player, which prevented you from getting like microwave and unfazed and those sorts of things. Um, and I had believed that it was due to uh, personality badges because basically troubleshooting with another my career I had started with a different player and that's when I ran into the issue I got a cool and collected badge or laid back one of those and right after that I I couldn't catch fire anymore but then when I started giving negative responses in the press conferences and what have you player interactions uh, he was able to catch fire again well few different guys that commented on that video had brought it to my attention that they they either knew or heard it had something to do with having a floor general on your team so I thought that was kinda of ridiculous but um I mean not not your comments but that idea like and if that was the case why hadn't 2k said anything or put that out there uh, 2k support or any of the guys on Twitter associated with 2k or even their 2k forums why it it wasn't uh explicitly stated that that was the issue that you would need to be on a team with a floor general plus if you were like me and playing with your point guard pff, why would you need to play with another floor general um because most likely you had that i wasn't sure so i went back and looked at mine so here's the thing this i'm currently in I believe the 2018 to 2019 season with this point guard. So, see, I earned floor general in 2016. Yet, I did not earn microwave until 2018. So, how does that make any sense? Why would I need to play with another floor general if I'm already a floor general so I can get hot? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but I wasn't sure about it. So I told one of the guys that had asked me on the video that, I, um, if I had played with one and I'd check it out, I told him I'd check it out. So I went and looked, um, and I had played, I'll pull it up here and it's actually, it doesn't show all the teams I played for. Cause once I got frustrated, I asked for a trade like three or four different times. So I think I unlocked Microwave when I was with Houston, which I believe was in this season here uh, that shows Orlando and New York. Um, so there's at least one team that wasn't showing up. But with Charlotte, I played with Kimball Walker. Um, uh, LA, uh, it, so that's like the third season in. They had Brandon Jennings and Shane Larkin, I believe. And... Orlando, I can't really remember who was on that one. Um, I think Alfred Payton was in there. But, uh, and then New York, um, I'm not sure who's currently on that one. I mean, I could pull it up, but yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of computer generated guys on there too because it's uh, that far into the career. But anyway. Um, but with Houston, when I was with Houston in the 17-18 season, they had Ricky Rubio. Um, so, playing with him, oh, and actually I played with Minnesota as well. Um, and I think that was in the season before, but it's not showing up again because I got traded three or four different times in that span. So, when I went to Minnesota, they had got rid of Ricky Rubio because I, I basically went there and took his job and sent him to Houston. So then, not knowing, I didn't know where he had went. I asked for another trade in 17-18. I went to Houston. Um, once I got to Houston, turns out that's where Ricky Rubio was. I ended up taking his job again. So sorry about that, Ricky. Nothing personal, just business. <laughs> but, um, but it worked out. He apparently he actually helped me out because I didn't know that's that had anything to do with it. So. He was the first player I went back through and looked at all those guys' badges. Kemba, Brandon Jennings, Ricky Rubio. And it turns out Ricky Rubio was the only, basically the first guy I'd played with on any team that had floor general. And coincidentally, I unlocked uh, Microwave then. 
So yeah, there apparently is something to that. So if you're still having issues with catching fire, you can't get microwave, you can't get unfazed, and actually I still haven't gotten unfazed, I, but I can't say I really tried. Uh, I haven't been playing a lot of games with this player in particular, but since I got microwave. But if you're still having trouble with it, keep both those things in mind. Um, as I said, with my small forward, the other career, I tried stuff out and he, he wasn't able to get hot. Um, the the personality thing I'm absolutely sure did have something to do with it because um, in that career I started with Minnesota I believe so I was already playing with Ricky Rubio but once I got uh, cool and collected or whichever one it was he immediately like the next game after that and the games that followed he could not catch fire anymore and that's still playing with Ricky Rubio so um, after a few games, though, when I started giving the negative responses in the pressers and the player interactions, and then I got, I think it was the mind games badge or something like that, um, then I was able to catch fire again. So it's it's very, there's a lot of nuances. It's just very quirky. So keep both of those in mind. If you ensure, ask for a trade, make sure you go to a team that has a floor general and uh, try try the negative responses, too. And if you do both of them, I'm absolutely sure you will get the ability to catch fire and microwave and those subsequent badges. So yeah, so there's the update on that, guys. But while I'm on this, I also wanted to show this. Uh, again, 2K has done a lot of things right, but they also are doing a lot of things wrong. Um, because I contacted them both about the inability to catch fire when I first noticed that, thinking like my third season and also this so well first I'll show you this which you already I think you saw some of it maybe but uh, yeah I mean we were just sitting on the screen but yeah look at the stats there um, these seasons averaging 34 6 and 8 uh, in those basic offensive categories 42 5 and 7 52 4 and 4 um, not to mention those defensive stats right there. So those stats uh, you have there. In addition to that, let's see the awards. Three-time MVP, two-time champ, three-time All-Star, three-time first-team All-NBA, three-time Defensive Player of the Year, and three-time first-team All-Defense. Everybody would be knocking that guy's door down to get him a shoe deal, right? Wrong. Cause I'm still rocking some generics. Um, he's actually got a signature shoe on because I equipped it on my other career and for some reason it carried over into this one. So they let him wear those shoes now. It's, it's weird. <laughs> but anyway, uh, up until I did that with my other player, he was still wearing generics. So regardless, the point remains, I never got a shoe deal. Not even Spalding wanted a piece of this guy. It's crazy. Um, and aside from that, as you can see, you saw the stats. That signals that I had plenty enough stats that I would have unlocked these at some point. Nope. No, uh, still State Farm has not been unlocked. Gatorade, Sprite, and obviously the shoe deal. Then I contacted 2K about that. They didn't, ha they didn't have a solution. Um, and, and that's kind of my, my complaint with this, all, all of this stuff. The in inability to catch fire, that issue. Um, when you've got other 2K uh, community members, other players that are having to troubleshoot this themselves and figure it out in discussions like on YouTube and the different forums out there, Reddit or, or 2K forums, whatever, what have you, but 2K doesn't put anything out themselves, like they don't, they don't post anything like, hey guys, this is what it is, the floor general thing. Like, this is what you have to do. It's frustrating. Um, and then the shoe deal. I was reading about people having the same problem, talking about their four seasons in, three seasons in, done this, done that, and still no shoe deal. People are like, keep trying, don't sim your games, make sure you play all of them. Well, I did. I played like two and a half seasons straight, every game, not fouling out and no shoe deal that's extremely frustrating but then to to further that when i contacted 2k they have no solution hey why isn't this unlocking i think the game's bugged um 
what do they and what did they send me back I can show you what they sent me back not in this video but if you wanted to see it I can show you their solution was if you think there's a problem you can delete that file make a video of you deleting the file and sometime within a week or so we'll get back around to you to refund your VC you spent on it okay uh, genius idea I put in two and a half seasons worth on this player countless VC some purchased unlocking f at least uh, what was it 50 badges and your solution is if I'm not happy with what's going on because your game's bugged delete my file and you'll get around to it sometime to refund VC I earned and bought no um, and again even if I took that VC and put it towards a new player that I created it's it's not like I, I'm gonna get all the badges back so I just roughed it out I mean this guy is not gonna have a shoe deal I mean but that's kind of an, a small thing I guess to worry about considering that you can't even use all the shoes available to you once you unlock it in a game in your career so there's another bug um, but yeah I mean it's, it's just really frustrating but I just wanted to do this update and, and while I was on that point just point out the other thing that I've been kind of frustrated with as far as the game goes so um, yeah guys I I wanted just wanted to say I appreciate the views I appreciate the likes the shares the comments uh, love dialoguing with you guys and just like you as you see with this video it kind of brought us here where we're able to kind of troubleshoot certain things so if you have any problems uh, check it like put it in the comments and we'll we'll see what we can do like work together and uh, any specific comments on this if you have similar problems or whatever comment on that as well um, but yeah I, I appreciate the love and uh, I plan to keep the videos coming to you guys hope that they're interesting and helpful to you and um, I'll see you on the next one peace